A line of storms passed through southeast Michigan and northwest Ohio. This is video of one of the storms approaching downtown Toledo this morning. Yeah, I'm sure you saw this. The rain, the thunder, the lightning, the gusty winds all came with it. But before this happened, several of you out there saw this very interesting looking sky. In fact, take a look at these photos that were sent to us. All the different perspectives of what we were experiencing this morning. So our team of meteorologists call this a shelf cloud. According to the National Weather Service, a shelf cloud can bring severe damaging winds. It looks like a bunch of clouds stacked on top of one another, which may make it a shelf cloud. I guess that makes sense. There. It looks like one of those rolls of Pillsbury dough before you <laughs> stick it in the oven. <laughs> That's my reference. Let's bring in for a more scientific look. Let's bring in meteorologist John Birchfield. So obviously it's it's eye grabbing. It's attention getting, sure but we, we don't see or talk about these things very often. No, and it's very rare for the entire area to see the Pillsbury dough clouds. We'll call them. <laughs> um, it is associated with a line of thunderstorms, Jeff and Kaylee, and that horizontal linear appearance represents a line of storms that appears on radar. Now, as this shelf cloud rolls in, gusty winds, the biggest impact out of these. Now, very rarely would a shelf cloud ever produce a funnel or a tornado, but strong straight line winds ahead of that line is the most common impact. The name is derived from that horizontal cloud cover that covers the entire horizon. So first you feel the wind. Next up is the rain. After the shelf cloud rolls through, steady and soaking rainfall moves through. It may still be breezy as the rain is occurring, but typically you get the winds first and the rain second as that line of storms moves on through. Visually, here's what that looks like on radar. This line of storms developed in central Michigan and barreled through the region, eventually losing some steam, but we did get some reports of minor tree damage as well as about half an inch to one inch of rainfall. All right, here's what radar looks like right now. A much calmer sight this evening. No worries of any thunder for your Tuesday evening plans. All of those storms have pushed off well to the south of us. Ongoing activity from Cincinnati back towards St. Louis is still producing thunderstorms and strong weather. There is a level two out of five severe weather risk for locations from Omaha back towards St. Louis and Cincinnati as well, in addition to much of southern Indiana. Now tomorrow we get another round of rain as a cold front pushes on through. Overall, the severe weather risk is going to be much greater to the southeast of us, closer to the West Virginia Ohio state line, back into Pennsylvania and North Carolina as well. Looking ahead at rainfall totals that we got today, most areas saw about half an inch to one inch of rainfall with a little over three quarters of an inch at Toledo Express Airport. Hour by hour forecast keeps us totally dry over the remainder of your evening. No worries of any thunderstorms after the unsettled start to the day. Most areas do wake up to dry conditions tomorrow, but showers could develop by late morning. Into the afternoon, here's that cold front that will spark additional downpours and perhaps thunderstorms. Rain becomes more widespread into the afternoon. By Wednesday evening, that rain clears off to the south and east. Overall, the severe risk is low, but there still could be some dousing rainfall with this one. Showers and storms mid 80s before that cold front drops our temperatures. And overall, we are looking at dry weather returning on the back end of this system. But there is still the chance that some of those downpours do bring a couple inches of rainfall with lesser amounts in southern Michigan. It'll be a very, very sharp cutoff with this one right along that cold front. There could be the chance for some thunderstorms that do enhance rainfall totals behind that front. Less humid Thursday. It is going to be a gorgeous day with highs near 80 and a comfortable feel. And here's what those afternoon highs look like Thursday with comfy humidity levels. Dew points are going to be in the 50s with a break from the warmth over the next few days. Sunshine continuing Thursday into Friday. We do get a brief uptick in temperatures on Saturday. There will be the chance for some showers and storms Friday night into Saturday, but hopefully by Saturday evening we can bring back dry weather as a less humid breeze develops for the tail end of the weekend. Sunday's also looking really good for outdoor plans. Temperatures in the low 80s. Mud hens at, in town Monday night going to be a nice night for that, and the 10 day does bring back some warmer weather by Independence Day.